What's up guys, today we got a 2014 Kenworth T680 in the house with an MX engine in it by Pat Carr and we're going to show you how to run an overhead adjustment on it. It's not that hard, save yourself some time, save yourself money, do it yourself and keep your truck running at its peak performance. You guys come take a look, not that hard. Alright guys, Wally's going to show you what tools you're going to need to do this overhead project and what each one of them is used for. Alright, today we're going to run overhead on an MX-13, uh, EPA-13 admissions. Today we're going to need a 3 inch inch drive ratchet, a torque wrench capable of 48 foot pounds, a 10 millimeter, 11 millimeter, and a 13, an extension for the hard to reach places. 5 millimeter Allen. Today I've got it on a, a, tor a T handle torque wrench. You need an MX turning tool. Hold on just one second. Alright, guys, this right here is a six foot pound T handle torque wrench. You don't have to have this. You can use just a regular five um, millimeter T handle or any kind of a five millimeter Allen, and then you'll use your feeder gauges to, uh, to set your tightness with but this right here just makes it easier and you keep them all the same all right so go ahead with the turning tool yeah the mx turning tool i have an adapter uh three eighths inch to half inch for the ratchet 13 millimeter for the inspection bolts 18 millimeter offset wrench for uh, the jam nuts on the rockers we got a 19 thou filler gauge for the intake 27 thou for the exhaust and um impacts just to kind of simplify the job not necessary but is it, it is a luxury it's nice all right explain to them what's up with the paint marker as we do the overhead underneath on the flywheel it actually has three different marks it'll be one six two five and three and four and uh, this right here helps um, kind of lighten up the situation and actually to where you can um, you can mark it to see what you're doing underneath and up on top as we adjust the rockers mark them so we don't do it twice that's it all this does underneath guys is the next time you get ready to do an overhead it makes them easier to find your marks and that way it's a little bit quicker on the next time all right guys let's go get this valve cover off and we'll show you what's up all right first off uh, what we got to do is remove this air box there should be four 13 millimeter bolts on this side and two on this side and one 10 millimeter bolt down here and we remove the air box then we gain access to the valve cover let me pull this off and I'll show you from there. After the air filter removal, next we remove the valve cover. There should be 16 uh, uh, 11 millimeter bolts in there. Guys, now we got the valve cover off, and Wally's gonna explain to you what all of this stuff is under here. All right, first off, you have your rockers assembly on the MX13 EPA 13 admissions. The uh, long rocker is always gonna be your exhaust. Short is gonna be in your intake. You have your injectors uh, right there in the center, and held down by a hold down bolt. I guess you call it that. Uh, you have your uh, jack solenoids. And today what we're going to actually be doing is adjusting the slack in each individual rocker. Talk to them about the firing order in these. Firing order on, um, on all diesel inline sixes is going to be 153624. So as we go we'll adjust say uh, rockers 1 and then go 5, 3, 6 and then 2, 4 in that order. Explain to them a good way to remember the firing order. 15, 36, 24. Good way to remember it. 15 is too young, 36 is too old, 24 is just right. Right. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to make the truck and we're going to show you what's going on under there, um, how to turn the engine over so Wally can set it up top. 
What we like to do is tag team these bad boys. As you can see, Wild Bill. Wave at everybody, Wild Bill. <laughs> Wild Bill's under the truck, and uh, we'll show you what's going on under there, show you what the marks look like, and then we'll get back up here and show you how to do overhead. Y'all hang in there. All right, guys, sorry about the squeaking. That's my creeper wheel. We're under the truck, and as you can see right here, the inspection plate. The inspection plate is off, and right there is the numbers that we're going to be looking for. You can see it's a one with a line in the middle and six and right. See if you can point it at T at the line of room, Bill. Right there's the indicator that we're trying to line up with the center line between one and six. Bill's got the turning tool in here. You want to explain to him what you did with the bolt? All right. The bolt for your cover. If you'll take and put the tool in, it's spring loaded. If you'll take and put the turning tool in and then put a bolt in there, just run it in hand tight and it'll kind of hold it in place and keep it from trying to jump out while you're turning the, turning the engine over. All right, so there's the marks you guys can see that we're trying to work with under the truck. And you can see he's got his ratchet on here, right here. And that's what he's turning the turning tool to turn the engine over. So that's what it looks like under here. Like I say, well, I'll go back up top and uh, we'll see what's going on on the top side. All right, guys, I'm back up here on the top side. As you've seen, the engine was on one and six underneath. What Wild Bill did was he took a, a gasket scraper and cleaned off everything and used that yellow paint pen so he could mark it so it'll be a little easier next time. So Wally is gonna show you what's going on up here on the top side. All right, Bill has informed me that we got number one or number six, um, the mark down on the bottom. We will check for slack on number one. Looks like we got both of them. And number six, your intake valve is down. So we know number one is going to be the one that we're working on. First off, Crack your jam nuts loose. I normally do both of them at the same time. And like I said earlier, your short one is your intake. Long one's gonna be your exhaust. Always thicker is gonna be on the exhaust side. And if you got the Lang Master filler gauge kit like that, the red side you use for exhaust, blue side's the intake. So that's always handy. All right, after our uh, jam nuts are loose, we'll back off on our uh, adjustment nut. And then blue is your cold 19 thou underneath your intake. Run it down. And then tighten your jam nut. Removing your filler gauge, you will feel some resistance. That is normal. And then we move over to the exhaust side. Tighten our jam nut on the exhaust. And then we'll go back and the gem nuts torque to 48 foot pounds. Okay. And I always mark them so I know which ones I've done. Now we're ready for Bill. All right, Bill. Three and four. Which ones? Three and four. Three and four. Looks like number three. Intakes down. Four. We're loose on both.
and just like we did on number one, blue goes to intake. All right, Bill, ready for you. Two and five. Two and five. Number two's loose, five is tight. All right, ready for you, Bill. As you guys can see, it's way faster when you got two people, so you don't have to jump down off the tire and run underneath there and crank it over to your next mark. I do want to show them something. After you've done spun the engine over again, you'll catch a lot of slack only on the exhaust side. That is normal operation as the exhaust side <laughs> is hydraulically controlled for Jake operation. So that is normal operation to have excessive slack only on the exhaust side. Alright, now was on one and six. Yes, one and six. And now six is loose, one is tight. Three and four. Three and four. It's like four is tight, which you can tell we have already done it. Takes a lot of the guesswork out.
All right, Bill. <coughs> huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hold Sorry. on, Bill. Sorry about that. Let me go back. No, no. That's fine. Let's hold you up. What's that on that? All right, Bill. Two and five. Two and five. Is the last of the Mohicans. My last one. That's got all six cylinders done. The next thing you want to do is put your valve cover gasket, check it, and put your valve cover back on. Tighten everything back down, put your breather back on, make sure to hook up your hoses, and check for leaks. Be sure to put your inspection cover back on and remove the turning tool because that's a very expensive tool to be losing. that make for a bad day. That will make for a bad day. Anyway guys, that's how you run an overhead on your pet car MX engine. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button right down there. You guys have a great one and we will catch y'all next time.